The question is, is the A1 the new replacement? For the P1Ps? That's the main question. Are the P1Ps still relevant in today's market? One of the big selling points for the new A1 is the new dynamic flow calibration. It really comes in handy in making sure your print's extrusion is perfect coming out of that nozzle. The P1's frame is a little bit more sturdier. But you do lose out on that pretty touch screen and end up with this old 1990s radio style dial on the P1Ps. Both machines are rocking the 256 by 256 bed. Both of them are going to come with the PEI sheet. One's going to be the gold sheet that comes on the A1 versus the black one that comes on the P1Ps. The A1 does come with the motor noise cancellation. But, keep, keep in mind that the P1Ps now have the same calibration for the motor noise cancellation as the X1C, the P1S, and the A1. The A1 has a quick swap nozzle where you just pull the silicone sock off. You see the little clips? Unclip it, and out pops your nozzle. The P1Ps do have the option to be upgraded to P1Ss. Fully enclosing them, making them being able to print ABS and ASA. Unfortunately, the A1 is not ready to be enclosed for long periods of time. The motherboard cannot withstand all that excess heat for long periods of time per Bamboo Lab. You can add the full AMS system to the P1Ps, but they do not work with the AMS light system currently. The A1 comes with the AMS light system, which takes less time to do filament swaps, uh, but still does poop just as much as the original AMS. Speaking of poop, the A1 likes to flick its poop, P1P likes to throw it down the poop chute, and out the back. The A1 is going to come with all these extra PTFE tubes in order to put all four filament rolls into the tool head, plus the actual cable wire for power and data. The P1Ps don't come with cable chains. You can print your own. Uh, they have just the PTFE tube and the one cable coming out. That's all you're going to have to worry about. If you do get the AMS system, you'll have to get the hub if you want to do more than one AMS. But the AMS itself will go through the back, through the back PTFE tube. Here's a side-by-side -side of the two nozzles. This one's going to be the nozzle for the uh, P1P, the P1S, and the X1C. And this is going to be the nozzle for the A series of the Bamboo A1 and the A1 Mini. Both machines come equipped with a nozzle wiper. That's what it sounds like on the A1. Whereas the P1P wipes its filament right there on that little wiper right before it starts a print. So there's a lot to take in on both machines. Both the A1 and the P1P. Both have their pluses and both have their minuses. It's kind of up to you on which one you think is right for you.